we're live. We're live with Mike's mom. Yes. <laughs> Who's watching? I don't know one apparently. This is weird. It's not really sharing me. It doesn't want me to go live apparently. Like no one is here. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, mom, they're back. There's only three of them, but they're here. Hello, finally, my my YouTube's working. We're going finally. live with Mike's mom. Yay. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, wait, where are you going? <laughs> what is up? Our YouTube is finally working. Oh my gosh, guys! I was live on Instagram right now and on TikTok. We are going over the the NCLEX updates for you guys. And man, there's a lot of them. Um, so I listed out, what is it? Um, six new categories for the new NCLEX. And I'm going to drag and drop it and paste it right in here. And uh, it's some interesting stuff. Oh, man, it doesn't let me post that much. Crud. Well, wow, that kind of stinks. But again, um, we're going live. to Just to let you guys know, tomorrow is the day that we end our big sale uh we have up to 45 percent off we extended our black friday sale and once again to just let you guys know to get a thousand videos that are not on youtube we're talking 100 videos on pathophysiology 200 maternity videos and ob and 100 mental health videos and our new health assessment course is dropping uh it's being edited right now as well as our new fundamentals course not on youtube um and the other cool thing is that we have 850 study guides, like I showed you guys in the last um, live that we did, and a thousand practice questions, all for less than the cost of a textbook. And you guys can get it without a discount code right now. Just get the 40 up to 45% off at simplenursing.com. I will leave you guys the link here. Oh, you have an exam tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so frightened for you. But you know what? Good luck. I believe you are Nifolvar. Nilofar. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, let me put it actually, you know what? Let me uh let's see here. Let me fix this for you guys. So we're gonna doing we're gonna be doing some live QAs for you guys, as well as going over the six topic areas that are going to be updated for the new generation NCLEX. Um, and I'll be dropping them in. I wish I could I can. This kind of stinks. I need to get better at lives, I think. Because I wish I can like share my screen. And I wish it was kind of like Zoom. Dang it. This kind of stinks. They should update this stuff, man. Sorry. Well, that stinks. Okay, so anyways, I can... Let me see if I can drop this in. Hold on a sec. We do have a blog that actually covers all of this at simplenursing.com. And it goes over at all the six points. But starting at the top, guys, for everyone just tuning in, we are going over the live NCLEX 2023 new generation questions for the NCLEX. Um, so if you guys are taking your NCLEX anytime next year, that's okay. Um, if you're not taking the NCLEX na next year, taking it this year, I will also be talking about how to prepare for your NCLEX using something called the 660 rule that we recommend um, in our NCLEX prep. Okay, so the first things first. Number one is case scenario questions or case study questions. So I'm reading here. In the new NCLEX 2023 April update, there's going to be two to eight questions that may all be derived from one single case study. So as you guys know, the case studies that you're normally used to in nursing school, right? They give you a huge chunk of a paragraph. It's it's always like an 84 year old patient comes into the whatever clinic with like new onset something. Let's just say it's heart failure, right? New onset crackles. It's new pitting edema, sudden weight gain, rapid whatever. And then they're going to be asking you a few questions on that based on the patient's record. You're going to get several tabs and a split screen, which is very interesting. Um, the patient record will be on one side of the screen and the questions will be on the other side of the screen and it's going to appear with multiple non-adaptive questions for each case study. Now according to our our um uh our information here 
there's going to be two to eight questions with these case study questions here. Now, that's not the, really the scary part, guys. We've done case studies before, right? We know what it's about. Um, there's nothing scary about that. If you know how to treat a patient, right? If you know how to answer a question, you should be able to get these correct. The scary one is part number two, extended select all that apply questions. So get this, I'm reading here from their website. The longer select all that apply questions with as many as eight, <laughs> that's correct, eight answer options. So eight answer options can be used now, but partial, this is the good news. This is the good news. Partial credit will be given for answers that are close to correct. So remember in the old days, or if you're taking your NCLEX right now, I feel I kind of feel bad for you because when everyone else took the NCLEX in the old days, it was, you know, you get, it's a one or nothing. It's all or nothing. You either get the entire select all that apply question correct or the entire thing is wrong. Now they give you eight answer options, but they also give you partial credit, which is kind of cool, you know, like, I hate those questions with like, you know, Addison's, Cushing's, hyper and hypothyroidism. And you're always, you know, checking all the boxes with all select all applies. So the cool thing is now you get partial credit. Okay, guys, number three is an interesting one. It is the drop down answers. So these questions will provide a drop down list of possible answers and you have to complete a sentence. So you're actually getting a word and plugging it in to the actual um, sentence. I think that was kind of weird. It's a drop down answer. Um, yeah. So I'm going to stop there and ask you guys to, let's see here, uh, and answer some questions here. So Sharikri, can you please upload study of OB, same as you do for med surge? Yes, that's a good question. So we do have study guides, an entire study guide bundle that we just uploaded last week for maternity. There's over, I believe there's over a hundred and something study guides that are colorful and beautiful. If you guys saw my last live, it basically looks like a study guide version of the actual video. So you guys can take it on the go and study wherever you want. We call it our study guide bundle. And if you guys are familiar with study guides, most of... Uh, people, most of other nursing, what am I saying? Most other nursing entrepreneurs on set on, on Etsy are selling like 200 study guides for like over $200, which is crazy to me. I mean, we're, we're giving you guys 850 study guides uh, with a thousand videos and practice questions um, that are not on YouTube for less than the cost of a textbook. And right now you guys can get it up to 45% off our biggest sale of the year. We extended it for you guys. We were only going to do a few days for the sale, but we extended it to seven days because we love you guys so much. I mean, we only, you know, like other companies, we could have just done a two or three day sale for you guys, but we wanted to extend it for you guys. Um, okay, Rehab, Farad, uh, but they count the right ones you get. I believe you think for the, I think that was a good question for the select all that apply. Yes, so the new generation NCLEX questions, they're giving you eight answer options but they're also giving you partial credit for the ones you get correct. So yes, that is correct. Um, Hermi, your videos are great. Thank you so much. Yes, that is correct. Nival, eight answers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, eight options, not technically answers. Uh, let's see here. Have a great time. Thank you for your video. You helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, you have an exam tomorrow. Good luck for your exam tomorrow. Let's see here. Fabiola, um, for one year, how do you get the new generation? Yeah, so good question. We are updating our NCLEX prep with the new generation questions. I don't even know if you guys know this, but we do have an NCLEX prep, um, very similar to the other NCLEX question banks out there. But here's a really cool thing. One of the things that we like to do with our NCLEX preps is something that no one else is doing. We actually include video rationales, 90 seconds, that actually break down the question for you. There's usually three reasons why, if you're taking NCLEX practice questions or you're not doing really good, there's three reasons why students fail the NCLEX. One of those reasons is you just don't know the content, right? So you don't know how to answer the question. The second reason why students don't do really well on taking practice questions for the NCLEX is because you don't know how to answer a question. Dude, trust me, so many, you guys have probably been here before. 
So many times you know the content. You can recite it backwards and forwards. You can even talk to your dog about it or your parents, right? But when it comes time to actually applying it to an actual question and taking it in a question format, you just draw a blank and you don't know how to actually break down the question. Or you change your right answer to the wrong answer, right? So what we what I thought would be really cool, you know, if I was in nursing school, and I wish that the other big box um and collects question banks would do this, but they don't. I was like, I think it'd be really cool if they actually would break down the question for you in 60 seconds in like a three-step systematic way. So that's exactly what I did. If you guys didn't know, I made three, <laughs> if you can imagine this, I made 3,000 videos for you guys for 3,000 NCLEX questions. And we broke down in a systematic way exactly how to break down an NCLEX question in 60 to 90 seconds. And we always use the same three steps. Now, if you guys want to take a look at all the hard work we did for you, go to simplenursing.com. You can just click under the NCLEX area and you can try it for free. And I think we did an amazing job. Um, but that's only one of the dozen of tactics that we recommend and on our new NCLEX prep at Simple Nursing. And again, guys, you guys can get up to 45% off. It's not on YouTube. There's over 1,500 questions. Uh, actually, there's there should be 3,000 questions now because we just did a big update. And we're doing, we've done a video rationale for every single one of those. And there's a huge, like, meatloaf like deep dish version of a rationale involved and we also something that no one else really does like you world doesn't do this archer review doesn't do this all the other uh you know atr kaplan doesn't do this they don't show you guys how to study for the nclex they don't set you guys up on an nclex success plan or a study plan and we do we show you guys exactly where you should be what benchmarks you should be at for the nclex and we can touch on this real quick if you guys want to but um, I'll, let me just mention this real quick because a lot of students don't know this. And I wish that it would be common knowledge these days. But, um, oh, good question. I just talked about this on Instagram Live, Pinky and Joy. Is ATI a good prep for the NCLEX? <sighs> I wish, I wish. I wish I could say, okay, I have a bias about ATI. I have a bone to pick about ATI. Because when I was in nursing school, we had to take those dumbass, sorry, <laughs> those dumb... ATI exams every single semester. And that really pissed me off. Now I got over it because it's, it's almost been 10 years. It's crazy. Um, but here's the deal. I talked to a student last semester. I believe it was a spring. They got green lighted. So green light basically means that your, you know, ATI says you're green lighted, go take the NCLEX. You know, like it's like when you go skydiving, go jump out of the plane and go skydiving. They got green lighted and they failed the NCLEX. And I've heard that actually a few times. So unless ATI has done something amazing, right, and updated all their stuff, I don't know if I would recommend them because that's a little sketchy to me. Rather, I recommend following the 660 rule. And so after seeing a lot of students fail the NCLEX after the last 10 years and just observing a lot of what students need and what they use, what students use on the NCLEX is typically – anywhere between three to five resources when studying for the NCLEX. You're usually going to use some lectures. You're usually going to use like a Saunders NCLEX book, and you're going to use a few different question banks, um, and then maybe some study guides and, and, and random YouTube videos. So what I always recommend students doing, whatever NCLEX book or whatever NCLEX thing that you go for, I always recommend getting a good NCLEX software to, to really track your scores. So whether it's going to be the big box brands, whether you guys choose us, which I hopefully you do, because all those 3,000 videos that I did for you guys hopefully doesn't go to waste. <laughs> but here's the deal. whatever Wherever you go, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a good, reputable company, your goal is to get over 1,200 questions, right? Now, 1,200 questions is the bare minimum. So I recommend just 1,200 questions, 60% or higher. I see students mess this up all the time. They're like, Mike, uh, how do I know I'm ready for the NCLEX? And I'm like, okay, well, where's your benchmarks at? And some students come to me and like, Mike, I failed the NCLEX twice. I'm like, okay, I took 2,000 questions. I'm like, okay, so you did the first one. Good. What was your scores two weeks before you took the NCLEX? I don't even know. I'm like, dude, how do you not know? Because no one teaches you guys this. And it pisses me off. And I'm like, dude, they could easily do this. And I wish ATI had a really good one that they would, you know, recommend. Maybe they're updating their software. Maybe I don't want to, you know, 
um, you know, dog them too much. But I wish that there was a more accurate way. So the rule of thumb is if you're above 60% on your practice exams a few weeks before your NCLEX, then you're good to take the NCLEX. I see students get into trouble when they're in their 50s or 40s. And then they start stressing out and they're like, Mike, I have a job offer or my, my spouse or my family wants me to take the NCLEX or my friends just took it. I'm like, well, what are your scores at, dude? Like you need to have these two things. You can prepare for the NCLEX in four to six weeks is what I recommend by taking about 60 to 100 questions a day around four to five days a week. Now, if you can do that and get that 60% or higher, then good. Go take the NCLEX. You have a 95% chance of passing. Your chance of passing increases when this number goes up. So, for example, you're taking 60 questions or 100 questions a day, and you're getting around 65% every day, two weeks before your exam. You're good to take the NCLEX. If you're dipping below that number and going into the 50s, going into the 40s, push your date back, guys. Trust me, I've seen this time and time again. Students come to me every single semester and say, Mike, I'm such an idiot. I failed the NCLEX. I, my, I lost the job offer. Now my family doesn't trust me or my spouse is angry at me. I'm such in a dark place. And I'm like, always go back to the basics. Did you take 1,200 questions? Yes. Did you get 60% or higher <laughs> a few weeks before your exam? No. It's usually this one, guys. So it's going taking the NCLEX is not that hard. It's like jumping out of an airplane. You just want to make sure that there's no holes in your airplane. Just make sure there's no holes in your brain in terms of your knowledge gaps, right? So before I get back to answering your questions, guys, I always recommend this. Um, this is this is what the NCLEX is. <laughs> if you guys remember that old movie, The Hunger Games, uh, I, I like to reference that a lot because the NCLEX will drop you into one of 12 categories. So most times... Um, Let's just say your worst topic is pharmacology. I always recommend start with your worst topics first. So let's just say your worst topic is pharmacology. You want to study there first. Then study your top three worst topics. It's usually pharmacology, med surge, and then a toss-up between you know mental health, OB, or something else, fundamentals. I don't know. But the reason I tell you to do this is because I see students just take random questions and just like, ah, I'm just going to take a bunch of questions and just mix the pot and who cares how I study, right? Because UWorld and Arch Review, they don't really teach you how to study. I'm not sure if ATI does, but no one really teaches you how to study, which kind of sucks. But that's why at Simple Nursing, we created our new NCLEX prep to show you guys how to study, to really hand walk you through how to set up a study plan. And our new algorithm is going to auto-populate a study plan right after you take your assessment exam, which is really cool. And if you guys want to take a sneak peek at that, you guys can go to simplenursing.com. You can just take a free trial, really. And just go under the NCLEX tab. And once again, we're doing 45% off. Biggest sale of the year for 1,000 videos not on YouTube, 850 study guides, and then thousands of practice questions that are on YouTube. So if you guys just click Simple Nursing, there's no discount code. It's just all open right now. And we extend our sale for you guys. But real quick. So let's just say I, I see students fail the NCLEX because the, no one teaches them how to do their top three, right? And so you're just taking random questions all the time and you're just taking like, you know, let's say hundred questions a day and just, you know, cause my friend told me to do that because that's what they did. But little do they know, or little do you know, is let's just say your friend didn't really even need, some people don't even need NCLEX preps cause they're so at the high at the top of the class. Right. Or they just did really well. Maybe they're just really good test taker. So what happens most times is you get your world, you get Archer review, you get another question bank. I don't know. And you're just taking random questions. And then the NCLEX will drop you into your weakest area. And then what happens is, let me show you. Whoop, whoop, I feel like the, oh man, I don't know where my, my pen went. So what happens is, <laughs> let's just say you're dropped into pharmacology and you didn't really study pharmacology that much. Now the NCLEX is going to give you pharmacology questions and make sure you're above passing or basically what I call above the safety line because the NCLEX is just a safety exam. They're just trying to see if you're a safe nurse. Are you going to kill your clients or are you not going to kill your clients? If you are a safe nurse and you know when to hold a drug, you know your lab values, you know when your client is getting worse or when they're getting better and what to do when to intervene, that is safety protocols. If you can prove that you're a safe nurse, I can guarantee you're going to pass the NCLEX. If you're not a safe nurse, I can guarantee you're going to fail the NCLEX. And that's all 
these questions are trying to test. It's not really knowledge. Like the questions don't ask you about pathophysiology. It's not asking you about anatomy. It's just asking you, when do you know when your client's dying and how do you fix it? That's the biggest thing. Or when do you know that you're going to overdose your client with, with a drug? Or when is a lab value way far out of range or is it normal? And do you overlook that, right? So it's really just asking you, how do you identify if your client's dying? How do you fix it? So for the analogy here for pharmacology, if you're above, if you're below that safety line, then that's when the NCLEX fails you. It's not that you didn't take a bunch of questions. It's not that you're an idiot. It's just that you didn't study your top three worst topic areas. So that's why in our NCLEX review at Simple Nursing, we start there with an assessment exam and we make sure to put holes or basically patch up your knowledge gaps like patching up a parachute before you jump out of you know, the parachute or sorry, jump out of the plane. Because so many times students just take random questions all the time with a bunch of question banks or just listen to a bunch of lectures, go through the NCLEX Saunders book, and then uh, maybe I'm ready, maybe I'm not, who cares, I'll just go take it, right? I'm like, dude, no, don't do that. <laughs> Focus on your top three worst areas first, take all the questions from those areas, and here's a big hack, by the way, what you want to do is get a, a notebook. Or if you'd like to take notes on your laptop, just take notes on your laptop. The coolest part about this is how many times, if you guys are studying for the NCLEX, or let's just say you're studying for an exit prep, because exit preps are just mini versions of the NCLEX, if you guys didn't know that. Um, the reason why you have NCLEX preps, like, I'm sorry, the reason why you have ATI exit exams, HESI exit exam, or Kaplan Proctor, is because your school is trying to see if you're going to pass the NCLEX. So if you fail those exit exams, your school wants to get rid of you so that you don't, you know, tarnish their name and tarnish their NCLEX standard pass rate. That's the reason why they have those, which kind of sucks. So if you're taking your exit exam, it works the same way. You're going to be taking around 60 to 100 questions a day. Then based on, let's just say you missed, um, I don't know, 30 questions, right? Now you have 30 areas that you can actually write down key points from what you missed. So I love the, the notebook hack because as you're studying for six weeks in the NCLEX, get this, you have you know, a good chunk. Let's just say every day you're writing down 30 key points. And so many times I see students telling me like, Mike, it's week four of my NCLEX prep. I've taken well over a thousand questions. I feel like I'm losing information in the beginning of my studying. I'm like, guys, if you just had the notebook, you would have written down the key points from the beefy rationales that we offer at, you know, simplenursing.com. Or let's just say you are, did really bad in cardiac pharmacology. And so what we do is we match you with one of our study guides or one of our videos in our NCLEX prep. And we have you review that content so that you can write down those key points. And so on your off days, we say, here, by the way, you're taking four to five, sorry, four to five days a week, you're taking questions around 60 to 100. So you have around three, two to three days off that week, right? So when you're off days, go to the beach, go to the mall, do something fun kind of. And go around and just review those areas that you miss, your key points. You basically have a treasure map of key points that you need to review. Now, statistically, I don't know if you guys knew this, but you guys need to review four to five times information that you got wrong before you can apply it and digest it and do well on exam. The reason why most students fail is because they only see the information around two to three times, and that's why you don't know the content. So that's why we're saying like, you know, you read the rationale, that's one of them. You watch a video, you watch, you look at a study guide, you write it down in your notebook, and then you only need to review it maybe two more times when you're out and about on your days off, which it's really cool. The, that, what I just ex explained right there, that's only like a few of the, the tips that we include in our full how to study for the NCLEX, uh, in our full NCLEX prep at Simple Nursing. So again, if you guys are just joining us, uh, we have an NCLEX prep at Simple Nursing with thousands of practice questions. And get this, this is the coolest part. We have 3,000 video rationales that break down the question for you in a three-step way. Because so many times I see students fail the NCLEX because number one, they don't know the content in the question. Or number two, a lot of times, you just don't know how to break down a question. You know the content. So many times I see this, students will tell me, 
I can explain pathophysiology. I can explain signs and symptoms. I just can't take a test. So that's why we created it. And so, yeah, that, that's why. Um, and trust me, 3,000 questions was a lot. <laughs> so please don't let all my hard work go to waste. Just, just try it for free. And uh, <laughs> that would give us enough support. So you guys can go to simplenursing.com and uh, you can either join for free or you can take advantage of 45% off, which is our biggest sale of the year. Uh, or I should say up to 45% off. And again, um, if you're in nursing school right now, we have a nursing school bundle, which is different than the new NCLEX bundle. So the nursing school bundle, you get, it's kind of like Netflix uh, for streaming. So you get a thousand videos, not on YouTube. This includes all our patho vid videos, pathophysiology, and new fundamentals videos, maternity videos that are not even on YouTube, mental health, skills videos, and our new health assessment course uh, that's coming. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, and thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, let's see here. Jules, can we add this to our prior membership? Email us, Jules, at help at simplenursing.com. It just depends on which kind of membership you have, and they'll help you out. We have a really awesome customer service team. Her name is Allie, and a lot of our team is in Texas, and they're just amazing. I love working with our peoples. Mike has helped me so far. Thank you, Timmy. Man, Jules, you are really gunning on this. Can we add this to our... Yes, you can. Email us, Jules. Help at simplenursing.com. <laughs> Pinch. Look, Jules is talking Mike. I think you meant, is Mike talking? Okay. Um, how many questions on the NCLEX PN? I'm not exactly... Sh That's a really good question. Okay, so according... I think you meant, how many questions can you take for this new generation NCLEX? So now the... NCLEX will give you 70 to 135 questions total, as opposed to the old COVID days, which was 60 to 130 questions. Now, when I went to nursing school, it was 75 questions. That's the minimum number, and then it would cut off. Or you can take all the way up to 245 or 46 questions, something like that. And you can be in that testing center for five hours. Now, if you guys are chosen to take the entire entire question, I'm sorry, the entire NCLEX, 130 questions, right? It doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. And a lot of students get this wrong. So did you guys know that if you take the entire NCLEX, it doesn't always mean that you fail? There, they always take 10% of the population to do what's something called a quality control. So you can go there and if you scored well, the computer would have shut off with the minimum number of questions. But if you're in that 10% quality control, they will force you to take the NCLEX up to 130 questions. So it really just depends on if you are that quality control or if you're not. So it doesn't always, don't dog yourself, just try your best. And just remember, there's a lot more hacks that I give you guys. Here's another hack that we include in our in our new NCLEX prep at simplenursing.com. And again, you guys can try it for free. Just go to simplenursing.com and join our new NCLEX prep for free. Or if you're in nursing school, you can try um, our free trial for the nursing school bundle. And again, once again, we are doing up to 45% off for a thousand videos that are not on YouTube and 850 study guides and thousands of practice questions in our kind of Netflix of nursing, we can call it. Okay, guys. So one of the biggest things that I always recommend students for the NCLEX, even for your exit exams, for HESI and ATI here. So the thing is, is you want to take 60 questions at a time. I don't recommend over 75 questions straight through. And the reason for this is because you're going to be trying to take 60 questions, or sorry, a question every minute. A minute of question is the goal. Now, you're probably starting with, slow. I, I was a really slow test taker, like two minutes a question, three minutes a question sometimes. The problem is the longer you take on questions, the more chance you have at actually changing your answer to the wrong answer, which is the, the worst thing you can do, right? I mean, how many times have we have you been in an exam and you knew you chose the right answer? You actually chose it and then you changed it to the wrong answer. So limiting the amount of time you take on a question because usually your gut instinct is the right answer. So if you limit it and you practice it, you want to prepare the way that you're going to perform. So if you're preparing in a way by taking a question and looking at the rationale, taking a question, looking at the rationale, like you probably do all the time, you're training your brain to have little breaks and you don't want to do that. So in the NCLEX, your brain's going to get really fatigued 
when you're training your brain to anticipate a little bit of a break after every question. Now, 15, 20, 30 questions in, when your brain doesn't get that break, that's when you start to mess up. That's when you start to take longer. You start changing your answers. You start getting fatigued. You start doing things that you normally would not do. And so that's why I'm telling you guys, practice the way you're going to perform. So take 60 questions straight through and then go back and look at your rationales. And so do that. And that's going to give you into that muscle memory of every day is an NCLEX day. And it's going to get into that rhythm. And during the NCLEX, we always recommend you guys, just when you sit down, take 60 questions, then get up, go to the bathroom. Because if you practice that way, you're used to taking 60 questions a day. Who cares if you get all of them, right? Let's say you get all 135 questions. That's basically three rounds or two and a half rounds, really. So you're doing that. You get 120 because you do 260, you know, batches, right? Then you get 120 questions. And then you only have, what is it, uh, 15 questions left. It's like easy peasy. You're, you're perfect. Um, so that's another tip that we include in our new NCLEX um, prep at simplenursing.com. Along with those 3,000 video rationales, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of. It was a lot, guys. Like, look at all these grays, man. We can't really see it. This one right here. But, man, that, that was a lot of videos. 3,000 videos where you're breaking down 3,000 NCLEX questions. I feel like I just never left nursing school. And, uh, and yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, Villad. Hey, Nurse Mike, I bought a one-year deal. Any chance I can do a two-year deal instead? Yeah, Vlad, if you just email us at help at simplenursing.com, our customer support team will get you guys, will get you going. They're really, really good, really amazing team. Allie is amazing, by the way, a really good friend of mine. Um, if you guys didn't know, we have, if you're just tuning in, we have a thousand videos that are not on YouTube. We're talking about the new NCLEX generation update for 2023. But again, we're doing this Black Friday deal for you guys that we just extended uh, to seven days. And the sale ends tomorrow at midnight. This is the biggest sale of the year. Thousand videos, not on YouTube, including Patho, Med Surge, all of our maternity videos. And like most people don't even know I even have OB videos or fundamentals videos or the mental health videos or the, uh, the new health assessment course that's dropping in a few weeks. Um, and one of the biggest things that I'm really excited about is our new music videos. Uh, we, have, we made 18 new parody songs that are amazing. It's so cool, man. It's amazing. But again, um, we also have 850 study guides and a thousand thousands of NCLEX style practice questions uh, at simplenursing.com. So again, the sale ends tomorrow, 45% off. It's the biggest sale of the year. Okay, Coco, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to say thank you so much. I passed the NCLEX first try, 75 questions. Woohoo! Magali, thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, you were the number one reason I passed. Oh, you're so amazing. Thanks so much. I, I'm just so grateful to help so many students on their NCLEX journey. It's it's great. Uh, let's see here. Temi, you can go for a three-month subscription. Yes, that is correct. We do have three-month plans, I believe. Uh, let's see here. I work four out of 10. I can't study after work. What do you suggest for people with such busy schedules? I would recommend if you're studying for the NCLEX or trying to study, study at work. I know it sounds pretty bad, but that's one of the reasons why we made our study guides. So you guys can study on the go and print out whatever you need. Also, um, I recommend, you know, I, I call it a, um, Book ending your day. So put it put bookends on your day. So if you have really hard time to studying, then I recommend doing 30 questions before you go into work, 30 questions after you get out of work, and then you hit your 60 questions a day. And if you think about it, it's around 30 minutes. 30 minutes to take 30 questions, 30 minutes to take 30 questions. You've studied for an hour, and then you can review probably during work. I don't know. That that might make the most sense. Uh, let's see. Will the 2023 NCLEX have lab values? There's a lot of mixed reviews on this. So I don't foresee lab values ever going away because remember, the NCLEX is just a safety exam. So if the NCLEX is mainly talking about safety, guys, one of the lab, that's, that's one of the ways that your, that your client will die immediately. So you have to know your lab values because if your creatinine levels come back over 1.3, if they come back out of five, you have to think over 1.3 is bad kidney, right? So you have to think like your client's going to lose life or lose limb. 
And that is a safety precaution. So again, if you guys didn't know, the NCLEX is just a safety exam. So if you're a safe nurse, then you will pass the NCLEX. If you're not a safe nurse, I can guarantee that you're probably not going to pass the NCLEX. And there's certain key words and key numbers. I call it the numbers of nursing because there's numbers that you have to know in nursing. And we include that in our NCLEX prep at simplenursing.com. And so we review all of that for you guys. And honestly, you guys can try it for free. Just go to simplenursing.com and click under the NCLEX tab there. So you recently bought a three-month review. Is there any button to save the first answer prior to revealing the answer? I don't believe, Jason. I believe we are actually updating our software right now with our new app as well. But you can email us at help at simplenursing.com and Ali um, helps relay a lot of that tech support, which is really cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm 75. I hope I can still pass the NCLEX. Or oh, you're 57. Yeah, anyone can pass the NCLEX, to be honest. I've even helped a lady that, if you guys can believe this, failed the NCLEX 17 times. <laughs> Now, she, she lived in a state where um, you just keep on paying the fee and you can keep on going. I think she had to do a few remediation courses. But that, that's what I'm saying. Like, once you guys understand what it takes to pass the NCLEX, it's not that hard. It's just a numbers game. You're just literally taking over 1,200 questions at over 60%. And if you're just studying between 60 to 100 questions, then that's fine, guys. I, I get I see a lot of students that are, you know, been out of school for a, a long period of time, like a few years, or failed the NCLEX multiple times. Maybe you know some friends like that. Um, we've helped those clients too, or I'm sorry, those students too, because it's just a numbers game. If you just know how to put in the work and binge watch, it all you're trying to do, that's why we made the videos the way we did, because we're basically including all the key points that Kaplan covers, ATI covers, HESI, um, Saunders, as well as a few other question banks. And we're pulling all that information in to give you guys the nuts and bolts of like, hey, this is what everyone is saying about a particular topic. So, for example, in the videos, if you guys saw the heart failure or MI videos, it's literally we're showing you exactly where all the information comes from. Or really any of our new animation videos we're, we're pulling from all these textbooks and saying like, hey, this is what everyone is saying about this topic and what they're saying and what the key word is. And it's so funny, man. All the key words are very similar because all these programs, Kaplan, HESI, ATI, all of them, they're just preparing you for the boards, right? For the national standards, the NCSBN. So all of them have to have the same keywords. They all have to include the same topics time and time again. So there's only so many questions the NCLEX is going to be asking you about endocrine stuff, about pharmacology stuff. And guess what? All the textbooks know this, and that's why they include it in their 2,000 question banks, you know? So what we did was we gutted all the questions from their NCLEX preps and like, hey, what is everyone saying about any topic? Let's just say it's a beta blocker. What kind of questions? What are they asking? Let's just say it's a calcium channel blocker. Let's say it's an anti-infective, or let's say it's a mother baby question. Let's say it's a, devel a developmental question. So that's why we do what we do with our videos is because it's evidence-based. We're basing it upon all these questions and these test banks, as well as textbooks that are supposed to prepare you for the actual NCLEX. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Like we have, you know, a thousand videos that are not on YouTube that you can access today for one of the biggest sales of the year, 45% off, and it's less than the cost of an actual textbook. How many times have you bought a textbook and you as a doorstop, right? And dude, I, that's what I hate about nursing school. They make you spend like hundreds of dollars on a textbook that you're never gonna use. And so honestly, I stopped. I just stopped buying textbooks and I started renting them from the library anytime I need it or just making photocopies because sometimes instructors don't even use the textbook, they'll just use PowerPoints, right? Um, but the cool thing about our membership is that we have a thousand videos not on youtube we also have 850 study guides 850 bundles of study guides and thousands of practice questions to practice um and again this is for the black friday extended deal uh you guys can access it at simple nursing for 45 percent off all right so let's see her more questions uh i didn't have subtitles i can't rotate the video okay you're graduating may 2023 vanille congratulations um mike with the oh my gosh i totally forgot we just launched um uh, i think it was 80 new videos for med math or dosage calculation that's not even on youtube as well 
totally need to put that in there. Uh, let's see here. You said that we should round down. Why nursing school said after five round up? Yeah, okay, good question. Abia. The, the question that Abia is asking is why do you round down? So we don't round down. We actually round up. The only way, the only reason you round down is for pediatric questions because they're trying to keep it safe for the child. So you typically don't round up. You just round down or you just don't round at all um, with pediatric questions uh, because typically in the hospital setting, pediatrics are the most sensitive population and it's very easy to overdose. Uh, let's see. Studying ATI. Of course, I hate it. <laughs> What if you already have, have a subscription? Is there a way to add on to the subscription or do you automatically, since we are members? Yeah, so Mary Lee, um, or sorry, Mariah, my bad. You can email us at help at simplenursing.com and they'll be able to answer that for you. Uh, use ATI for ATI. All right, sounds good. Let's see here. All right, all right. How many times can you retake the NCLEX? Uh, it just depends on your state. Some states only allow a limited number of times. Some states allow you up to 17 or more times. Uh, you like the ABG marching band suit. Dude, I love the ABG video. Guys, if you just struggle with anything in nursing school, it's been a, my personal mission, my personal vendetta to try to simplify everything in nursing school. Uh, ABGs is one of my favorite ones because I hated ABGs and I just made fun of it. And we have such a good video on there on YouTube that I share with the world. Uh, Carolyn, we do not have them on Amazon yet. We only have them on simplenursing.com for now. Uh, thanks for the reviews. I passed two weeks ago. Nice, man. Is it Vardan? Fantastic, man. Congratulations. Uh, Vardan, I honestly thought I'd failed at 76 questions on the NCLEX, but you're surprised that you passed. Congratulations, brother. Awesome. Okay, Tara, what is the difference between the nursing student subscription versus the NCLEX subscription? You're in, you're almost done with your third semester of four. Which subscription should you go with? Really good question. So, Tara, if you are struggling in nursing school or if you're just studying way too long, there's three things that the nursing school subscription does. And real quick, it just helps you. It's like the Netflix of nursing, right? It's just like YouTube kind of, but it's a little bit more in detail. So... Number one, it decreases your study time by 60% if you use it in the correct way. So many students watch our videos after they're, they're done studying or right before their exam, right? That's not how you do it. It's like pre-workouts. If you take, you know, this work energy supplement before the gym, you got to take it before the gym. So the thing is, if you watch our videos before you study, it decreases your study time by 60% because you're highlighting, we highlight the book for you. So that's how you're not lost in your book or basically lost in the sauce for hours on end. How many times do you try to read a, you know, a chapter and then you're lost in that chapter or just boring and dry? You have to reread and reread and look up a term and then you get distracted. It's just horrible, right? And I hated that in nursing school. So that's why we made a video that's fun, engaging, and we give you memory tricks based on what all these other textbooks are testing on. And more times than not, your instructor, if they want you to pass the NCLEX, if your school has a good NCLEX pass rate, then those key points will be on the exam. So that's why I'm saying like um, the NCLEX subscription, sorry, the nursing school subscription, if you watch the videos before you study, then it'll decrease your study time by 60%. Then number two, you just use the study guides to reinforce your knowledge along with if your instructor, um, you know, tests off the PowerPoints or even in the book. If when it comes time to go into the book, now you know what to focus on. So you don't have to waste your time. And then the last step is to, you know, take at least 50 to 100 practice questions. You would be surprised at how many students don't take practice questions before their actual exam. That's like going to war and then never practicing your, you know, your targets or shooting um, targets down. It's like you, you just never practice or apply your knowledge. And so many students come to me like, Mike, I failed another exam. I'm in my third or fourth semester. And I'm so scared of failing. I'm like, dude, just follow the study guide formula, that, or sorry, the how to study formula, and you should do it. But no one follows it. They're just like, oh, I watched a video before I took the exam. I'm like, no, that's like pushing your car to work. Like, no, drive your car to work. The, the car is meant to be driven, not to be pushed. 
And, um, and, and so, yeah, if, if you're in nursing school, I'd recommend using our four-step study formula at simplenursing.com, which is only in our nursing school subscription. Um, and this is the reason why we created the three-prong approach with the videos, study guides, and the questions, the practice questions, because they should be used in that order. Uh, and then the, the last question here is, what's the difference between the new NCLEX uh, prep so our NCLEX subscription or NCLEX prep is just like other NCLEX apps out there, right? But here's the trick. The other NCLEX apps wasn't made by a nursing student as well as a nurse for nursing students. One of the things I wish I had during nursing school was an actual app, right? That would actually break down a question for me. So many times I was shown the Kaplan decision tree, which was way too complicated. I wanted to like chop that decision tree down and make it firewood. It was horrible. <laughs> so what I was thinking is like, okay, okay. What if there was a way where you actually had everything that you know, like, and trust from an, another, you know, uh, big question bank with beautiful rationales, but wouldn't it be cool if there was a way that you can embed like a 60 second to 90 second video that broke down the question for you and just shows you how to systematically look at the question and take out the key words in the stem of the question. Then look at the options and then show you how to get to that right option. So that's exactly what we did with our video rationales. We have 3,000 video rationales that show you how to do this. And that's just one of the tricks that it makes our NCLEX prep amazing. Another one is we show you how to set up your NCLEX study calendar. Something that the big brands don't do, like you World and Archer Review, they don't do this right now. Um, they don't show you how to set up a study calendar. They don't know, they don't show you if you're ready to take the NCLEX. Now, sure, they do have analytics and insights, but they don't say like, hey, you're ready to take it, or maybe, hey, you need to focus on these areas first. Um, they, I, okay, I take that back. They do do it, but you kind of have to look for it. It's not like a huge, like red blaring thing in your face. Um, another thing is we offer videos, which is amazing with your NCLEX prep. So, how many times have you taken, let's say, 60 questions, you miss, let's say, 20 of them, and then now you're reading through rationales or, you know, you don't even get a video rationale, but let's just say you're reading the rationales, then you go to your NCLEX Saunders book or you look for random videos on YouTube. So what we do is we match those knowledge gaps with the video and a study guide that you need for that time. So that's really the biggest difference uh, between our NCLEX prep and the other stuff that's out there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Aureli, email us at help at simplenursing.com and they will be able to help you. Thank you so much, Katie. I do appreciate it. Uh, Mike, I'm new to this. My sister's in Canada and asked me to sign up, but I'm not sure which package to subscribe to. I am a new nursing student. Finish my first semester. Please help. Really good question. I'm not exactly sure how to say your name. Yuka Maka, I hopefully. Um, yeah, that's a really good question. So usually, oh my gosh, that was my dad sneezing. <laughs> usually most students don't need our help in their first semester, or, or if let's just say you fail the first semester, I don't know. Usually most students need our help when they get to the really tough stuff like pharmacology and med surge. That's when you, or even pathophysiology, that's when crap hits the fan and you really need our help. So, uh, Yukamaka. Um, you can just join our free trial. But again, like right now is our biggest sale of the year. You can get up to 45% off and uh, it ends tomorrow night. So you can, if you want, join our free trial, see if you like it and if it helps you um, with our videos, questions, and study guides. And then you can make your decision from there. But again, the sale ends tomorrow at midnight and we do have other sales throughout the year, but this by far is the biggest one of the year. Um... You did an amazing job with congestive heart failure. Thank you so much, Ebia. Thank you. You should see the ABG videos that we did. And then, oh my gosh, you guys should see the new um, music videos we're coming out with. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, we're launching like little things for, uh, for the music. And we're also launching it on iTunes, Google Play, even Spotify. It's going to be great. I like hot photo, my sister. What the heck? Okay. Hey, well, it's sex chat to enter the chat. <laughs> Does the NCLEX subscription still have videos and study guides from the student subscription? Yes, we're actually updating that, right, Kay? So um, right now, I'm sorry, previously in the past, it was separate or it was very limited. 
but I believe now we're actually matching content based on the stuff you missed. But you can email us, Ray K, at um, help at simplenursing.com to see um, really everything that's included in the new one. Let's see here. Find the bridges or was some nursing and clinics. Really good question, Kimberly. I don't know for the CAT or the CAT. Email us at help at simplenursing.com and they will be able to help you for that one as well. Um, Les Lynn, you got 145 questions on your NCLEX. Oh my gosh. Did you pass? Hopefully. Um, is MedSurge 2 harder than MedSurge 1? I'm not exactly sure on your school, but usually MedSurge 2 is the critical care stuff. And for me, I love critical care. So for me, it wasn't. It was easier, I would say. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> Manny. Yuka, yo, farm. <laughs> Start now. Just get the subscription. Trust me. Yeah. Take Manny's advice. Um, trust me, guys. Especially, dude, nursing school is tough, man. Especially if you're only given three to four exams. You fail one of them, that's 25% of your grade. And that sucks. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, if you just watch, if you just follow our four-step study formula, you can even just do one piece of it and just watch our videos before you study. And that would decrease your study time by 60%. That's why I designed the videos. Um, and it was for that. It was four nursing students who were failing, really. And when I first started, it was just to start with the most difficult topics first. I was just doing it for pharmacology and med search, and that was it. I didn't want to do maternity. I never wanted to do fundamentals or even skills or patho or mental health. Because I'm like, not a lot of students fail. Though. I mean, sure, students do fail those, course, those courses, but not at the rate of, you know, the big ones like farm and med search. So that's why we put so much time and effort into making our our those videos really good. So when people started requesting the other stuff, I was like, okay, fine, we got to do it, you know. So it's amazing. Oh man, next week is your final on patho and med surge. Good luck. Your name's Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> I love that. Is that like Eminem? Mom Spaghetti. Something on your sweater already. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think your videos still remain uh, pharmacology. Yes, if you guys are struggling in pharmacology and med surge and patho, those are the top three courses why I started this entire uh, video creation and why we expanded into study guides and expanded into practice questions and now have all the tips of how to pass nursing school. Our, our ultimate goal is to start our own nursing school, which would be kind of cool, but we want to help failing nursing schools right now uh, really just turn their ship around. That'd be amazing. I'm subscribed, but don't take your NCLEX until May 2024. That's okay. To be honest, every single day, Asia should be an NCLEX day. Do you think I should study every day for a month before taking your NCLEX? Really good question. So if you just, this is why I always recommend students get the program, get our subscription during nursing school, because every day is treated like an NCLEX day. If you just watch the videos before you study and use our study guides and take practice questions, you're still in that mode. You're getting this like huge snowball of information. That's like me telling you, I've never seen Game of Thrones. Should I binge watch everything? Yes, you can, but it would be more enjoyable if you kind of like spaced it out and didn't do like 10 hour binge watching sessions. So that's what I'm saying. Like guys, like do like little by little. Um, and it really helps out when you do it throughout the program. So it's really good. Ryan, I am late to start of the live stream. Could you repeat what you said about the new generation NCLEX adaption? Yes, I can actually. Um, yes, that would actually be really good. Okay, wait, hold on. There's a fun, fun miliola. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, I didn't subscribe to the app. I just one time purchased and I got charged a second time. Okay, so any customer service, uh, fun miliola, I think, email us at help at simplenursing.com and they would be able to help you. Uh, very quickly. Her name is Allie, one of my good friends, and she was amazing. Oh my gosh, Raina, you did your fundamentals exam today and you passed with 86%. Pinky, what is the four-step study process? Okay, let me answer this and then we'll get back to the NCLEX new generation questions. Four-step study process guarantees that you're going to decrease your study time by 60%. You're going to double your productivity and you're going to get over 82% or higher on every exam you take in nursing school. Uh, and this is the reason why we created the four-step study formula. So number one, you watch the video before you study. That decreases by far your study time by 60% because we highlight the book for you. 
Number two, I show you guys how to highlight your actual notes uh, or even your book or your PowerPoints. Really hack your instructor to decrease your study time because your, your instructor typically tests off one or the other or both. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that in our four-step study formula. Then number three is you're reviewing those key terms that we had you highlight from the video, from your PowerPoints, from the book, at least four to six times, I'm sorry, five to seven times before you actually take practice questions. The reason why most nursing students fail exams is because they don't know the five to seven rule. You're not reviewing the information that you took notes on five to seven times. So some the average nursing student reviews information only four to three to four times and then they fail their exams. And they're really wondering, why do I fail my exam so much? Because no one explains this to you, that you have to see information five to seven times before you apply it to an actual quiz. And so that's why we did what we did. Now, the last one in the four-step study formula is the practice questions. So a lot of students don't even take practice questions before their exam. And this is where you get students that have failed an exam that say, Mike, or... You know, they tell the instructor, I know everything about the topic. I can recite to you the patho, the signs and symptoms, the treatment options. But when it comes time to take the test, I just draw a blank and I don't know how to apply my knowledge to the test. So the reason why we include the five, the 50 to 100 questions in our, we have thousands of practice questions that are not on YouTube, obviously, in our membership site at Simple Nursing. The reason we did this is because after 10 years of observing students, I saw exactly where the pitfalls were. It's either you don't know the content, so we make sure to um, you know, highlight the content and the key topics and memory tricks for the most, tested, the, the most tested content, so you don't waste time studying your books. Or another reason nursing students fail is you don't retain the content. So with the memory tricks, with reviewing five to six times or seven times, or you just don't know how to apply your knowledge to an actual exam. And that's why we made a thousand or a few thousand practice questions to show you how to dial it in. And if you follow the four steps, I can guarantee that you're going to pass nursing school. If you if you don't follow the four steps, then you're probably just going to be like, you know, crossing your fingers and hoping you're going to pass like a lot of us do in nursing school, right? Like I wish I I made a program that I wish I had during nursing school because I, I know how tough nursing school is. And you don't typically fail out of nursing school because of a care plan or because of clinicals. You will fail out of nursing school if you fail an exam. I can guarantee that. I'm sorry, not fail an exam, but fail multiple exams, that is going to get you kicked out of the program. So again, um, we're doing this for you guys. It was created by a nurse for nursing students uh, because I wish I had it during the program. So again, guys, um, to wrap this up, before we get into the new question types, 45% off, biggest sale of the year. The sale ends tomorrow for a thousand videos, not on YouTube. 850 study guides, not on YouTube, and then thousands of practice questions in our four-step study formula um, to decrease your study time by 60% and 82% or higher. Uh, let's see here. Richard, how can you purchase uh, the 45% discount? Just click simplenursing.com. I pinned it at the top of this chat, and you guys can go there. There's no discount coupons. Uh, it's just one click. We made it really simple for you guys. No codes to enter. Just click and play. Oh, man, I love this uh, memory trick. DI versus SI ADH. So DI, think DI for dry inside. And SI is soaked inside. Oh, I love you. That was one of the funnest videos to make. Uh, you are the bomb. Thank you for all the videos you post on YouTube. For sure. Awesome. Oh, man. Hey, Mike, I just joined the live. Can you repeat everything you just said? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so BJ. Okay. I am answering your question here. Once again, before we get off, guys, there's six new types of questions on the NCLEX, this new generation NCLEX coming in April 2023. The first one is the case scenario questions. You will get two to eight questions all derived from a single case study. They split the screen and they're basically doing like normal case studies. They're going to have a huge paragraph, like a whole storybook, right? And they're going to tell you on, on one side, there's going to be a story on the other side. There's going to be non-adaptive questions for each case study, which that's not really scary. That's not scary at all because you guys have done case studies before. It's, it's like normal questions just with story version. What is scary is the number two extended select all that apply. So get this, you get eight answer options, eight of them. 
And I hear, they haven't mentioned it yet, but I hear that there's a select none that apply to those evil punks, man. It's, it's, oh man, it's gonna be hard. But okay, here's a good part. The good news is you get partial credit on eight of them. So let's just say you choose half of the options correct and you miss a few of the correct options or the other options. Before, if you take the NCLEX now, it's either an all or none, right? You either get the whole question correct or none of the question correct. So now there could be partial credit, which is kind of nice. Number three is drop down answers. So these questions will provide a drop down list of possible answers to complete a sentence. So the way I think about this is they're going to give you questions and then you click something and it has a drop down menu. And then you're supposed to complete a sentence in there, which I think is kind of interesting. They're having like a lot of grammar and, and syntax, which is very interesting because point number five is you have a highlighted text. You have to answer by highlighting an area of text from a given passage. I think they're doing this to see if everyone knows medical terminology or to see if they they people know uh, English proficiency, which kind of sucks. But um that's the only reason I can think of, unless they're, they're doing something else. I, I don't, maybe it's charting. I don't know. Okay, so going back, um, I skipped number four. This is an extended drag and drop. You guys know the drag and drops where like you have to put things in order for like hand washing or PPE or whatever it is, right? Donning and doffing stuff. But now get this. They'll give you more options than there are for spaces. So imagine like you have to do a Foley, right? And they're only asking for four things to do. Um, or like put, put them in order, they might give you like 10 or 20 things to do. I don't think they would even put 20, but I think they probably put eight if they only give you four. That makes sense. Um, and then the last one, this one is really weird, by the way. Number six, it's called the matrix. Ooh, the matrix. Neo, the matrix, which pill are you going to take? Okay. So the matrix grid. So it's like select all that apply questions, but with more than just a select or don't select option. For example, there are many, be a, sorry, there may be a list of eight different interventions for which you have to choose if they are to be done, are not essential, or are contraindicated, basically not safe for the client. So let me review this again. It's going to be like a select all that apply with all the options, right? But now you have to choose from the eight options. Would you do it? Would you not do it because it's not essential? Or would you not do it because it's not safe? So that one, I think, is probably the most tricky right there. <laughs> but again, don't worry, guys, because the NCLEX only updates 5% every two years. So... Again, it's not going to be the majority of the NCLEX yet. Not yet, at least. And, and also remember, it's not going to be all of the NCLEX. You're only going to have 70 to 135 questions uh, as opposed to 60 to 130 questions in the past, which is basically right now. You can get 60 to 130. It kind of depends on the states because I've, I've heard people get 145 questions, but I think those are mostly for LPNs and not RNs. So it's it's not really increasing by a lot. If you you guys will do good on the NCLEX if you know how to be a safe nurse. If you know how to be a safe nurse by safely giving a medication or when to hold it, safely knowing when your client is getting worse with the signs and symptoms, and safely knowing how to intervene for your client that we basically show you in our videos as well as our new NCLEX prep, then you guys should pass the NCLEX. Um, and if you just know your your regular numbers of how to set up your NCLEX study formula and how to hit your key numbers, and really where to start on your top three worst topics, and then how to hit your key numbers, and really when to push your date back, or when you know you're really ready, which I show you guys uh, in our welcome videos at Simple Nursing, in under the NCLEX tab in our NCLEX prep. It's pretty simple. It's just the numbers game. So again, one more time before we leave, I always get this question. You know you're ready to take the NCLEX when you've taken over 1,200 questions at over 60% mean average. So if you're going to be taking your NCLEX, and let's say two to three weeks before, you keep on getting the 50s or 60s or low, sorry, the 50s or 40s range, or even low 60s, I like to see people above 65%, even in the 70 range, because that guarantees that you pass the NCLEX. But if you can't get the bare minimum, then just push your date back, guys. There's no shame in pushing your date back. So that is it. 
So Pinky Brooks, watch the video if you're in nursing school. Number two, highlight the key terms. Yep, review the key terms. And then do 50 to 100 practice questions. You got it correct, girlfriend. You are fantastic. And once again, guys, we have a 1,000 of our videos that are not on YouTube right now. Uh, 850 study guides, thousands of practice questions not on YouTube. We are doing up to 45% off for our Black Friday sale. And you guys can only get it at simplenursing.com. Click the pin right up here in the comment section. And it was amazing being here with you guys. I can't wait to go live again. Thank you guys so much. I will see you later because my mom made dinner. If you guys saw at the beginning of this YouTube or this YouTube live, you can see my mom that is trying to host the show. All right, guys. Happy holidays. See you guys.